Hi, I'm Alan from Measure Square, and I'll be giving you a quick walkthrough of our free online flooring calculator. Right here you can see a list of our other calculators. You can find all of these at calculator.measuresquare.com. Okay, let's get started by left-clicking on Flooring Estimator. That'll take us to the main screen of our flooring calculator. At top, you can see a drop-down list showing the different product types you can select. Whichever flooring type you select will be applied to all of your rooms. Below, you can see a bunch of different shapes which you can select for your rooms. Let's go ahead and left-click on the rectangle. This will give us a rectangular room diagram. You can update the name. You can update the dimensions too by typing it in here. And you'll see that the diagram like updates to reflect that new width. You can also use your mouse to click and drag the walls to update the dimensions as well. You'll see the changes applied to the width and length boxes here. Next, let's apply an uh, unusual room, like an L-shaped room. We'll left-click on the L-shape here. And same as before, you can update the dimensions here in the text boxes. And you can also use your mouse to click and drag to resize the rooms. Now let's add a stair. I'll left-click on the stair icon. And then you'll see, you'll see, um, a stair box here with the input values for width, steps, tread, and riser. If you don't know what those are, you can just hover your mouse cursor over this link here. It'll give you an infographic which tells you how to get those measurements. Before I get my total estimate, I'll go all the way up to the top and click on advanced. These are the advanced settings you can set to make sure that the estimates are tailored exactly to your needs. Measure system is pretty self-explanatory. You can select either imperial or metric. These other inputs here are unique to the type of flooring product here. For roll goods, you'll have roll width, roll length, horizontal, repeat, and drop, etc. For a wood flooring type, you would get just the width, the length, and uh, a waste add-on feature. Let's change this back to carpet. I'll go click on the green button at the bottom that says Quit Quantity, Estimate, and Layout. This will take me to my estimate screen. I can see a diagram here containing all the rooms that I created with the room names, the dimensions, and you can see a blue dashed line running through them, which indicates seam placement because we selected a, a rolled good, a carpet. To the right of that, you'll see a list of your rooms with the amount of uh, product needed for each, and the room areas. Down here at the bottom, you'll see um, a cut sheet containing the different, the different cuts of carpet that will need to cover these rooms. And you'll see values here, such as the total usage uh, for this project, which is 1,225 square feet, square feet, the amount of rolls of carpet you'll need, as well as the net area of all these rooms. If you're satisfied with everything you're seeing in this estimate, then you can go ahead and type in your email here. And then click on the blue button named Email Estimate. You'll get an email with an image of your diagram, as well as the estimates here. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and feel free to check out our other free online calculators. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.